Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotional here at Manila Baptist Church. And truly, God is indeed faithful to all of us. So let us be grateful to Him. Let us give Him praise and thanks for another opportunity that blessed us today to look into His Word. Join me, please, as we are to open in prayer. Loving God and Heavenly Father, bless this devotional we have. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful opportunity that we can learn from the Bible, your word, the very word of God. Give us all the humble spirit and heart. In the name, your name, Father, be magnified and be glorified at this time. In Jesus' name, Lord, I pray. Amen. Our short devotional for this morning is taken from the book of Psalm chapter 42, verse 8. Psalm chapter 42, verse 8. It says, the Lord will command His loving kindness in the daytime, and in the night His song shall be with me, a prayer to the God of my life. I entitled this devotional, Songs in the Night. Songs in the Night. The great British preacher, Sitz Spurgeon, said, Any fool can sing in the day. It is easy to sing when we can read the notes by daylight. But the skillful singer is he who can sing when there is not a ray of light to read by. Songs in the night come only from God. They are not the power of man. When the Apostle Paul and Silas were imprisoned because they preached the gospel or because of their preaching of the gospel, they were in prison. It was a hot and horrible environment. Prisons back then were far more primitive than they are today. In fact, archaeologists have discovered what they believe was the actual prison where Paul and Silas were. Um, they were imprisoned as recorded in the book of Acts. It was nothing more than a dark hole without ventilation. So that's how horrible the place is to be in prison. But for Paul and Silas, instead of cursing God and questioning how a God of love could do this to them, they realized it was, it was time for them to pray. It was time for them to pray. And the Bible tells us in Acts chapter 16, verse 25, But at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. And the prisoners were listening to them. Songs and not groans came from their mouth or mouths. And instead of cursing men, Paul and Silas were blessing God. No wonder the other prisoners were listening. What a testimony. What a response to the situation that is difficult and hard at that moment. Instead of cursing God, instead of blaming other people or other men, they sang hymns, songs of praise to God. Praising and even, I believe, thanking God and people were listening with that the gospel message was shared still and preached through the songs that were sung when we are in pain the midnight hour is not the easiest time to hold a worship service yet there are times when we don't feel like singing to the Lord there are times when we don't feel like praising him but Hebrews chapter 13 verse 15 reminds us, Therefore by him let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God, that is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. This is where we are challenging the church, you who are listening with us, to be grateful, to be thankful to God, because God indeed is faithful to us. Whatever our circumstances is, in whatever situations we are in, we have a faithful God that we can give praise, the fruit of our lips, giving thanks. This is our praises. This is our testimony. 
speaking of the goodness and the blessings of God and the working of God in our lives. Now the question is, are you facing a hardship today? If you are, God can give you songs in the night. God can give you comfort. Come to Him, talk to Him in prayer, and sing praises to Him. Even at night, even at our darkest moment, even at our difficult times. Still, we can come to God and give Him praise and thanksgiving. Good morning, and God bless you all.